I have told you already that mechanical television systems were developed since 1880s. One of the first successful models was John Baird's system. He was a Scottish inventor who managed to get a TV image in his lab in October 1925. Later, on the 26th of January 1926, he showed it to the British public. The images were received with a sweep of 30 vertically scanned red and black lines. But this was already a television. Mechanical television based on bad systems was a dominating TV system at the beginning of the 30s. A first concert where a bad system was demonstrated in public took place in 1932 in Northern America. In 1996, Professor Malcolm Baird, a son of John Baird, delivered a short speech in honor of the 70th anniversary since first public demonstration of the television. Now his grandson, Iron Baird, works at MZ-TV. He is also a mechanical television enthusiast. Mechanical systems of that time are now incompatible with the modern standard TV system. MZ-TV Museum tried to refurbish Baird TV set to its full capacity. However, experts experienced the problem of getting a signal for it. Perter Jenze, a modern enthusiast of mechanical television, came to help them. He designed a mechanical camera which shoots in a 30-line format and transmits images through wires to the TV set. The TV set itself required minor repair works and lubrication, otherwise it has been completely serviceable for the last 70 years. In 1930s, viewers from Britain and Western Europe could purchase such TV for 18 pounds. Bad Company had a license for rendering TV broadcast services from BBC transmitters. Thus, during the system's period of operation, at least 3,000 enthusiast viewers were able to watch various comedies and also see and hear popular British singers. At the end of the 30s, mechanical TV sets were replaced by electronic TVs. However, the television had already been invented.